Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Electric and today we will be learning about the concept of capacitor and capacitance. So a capacitor stores electric charge. It's a little similar to a battery except it stores energy in a different way. A capacitor can't store as much energy as a battery, although it can charge and release the energy much faster. This is the reason why capacitors are often used on every circuit board. But how does a capacitor work? Let's consider a water faucet delivering water. The water will continue to flow until we turn the faucet off. However, after the faucet, if we allow the water to first flow into a tank, then the tank will store some of the water but we will continue to get water from the second faucet connected to the tank as illustrated here. Now when we close the supply faucet, the water keeps coming out of the delivery faucet until the stored water in the tank completely empties out. We can keep on storing the tank with water and as long as we don't empty the tank, we can get an uninterrupted supply of water from the delivery faucet. This storing water and smoothing out interruptions of water delivery in this example is what exactly a capacitor does. In electrical system, a capacitor acts like the water tank by storing energy and releases this energy to smooth out interruptions to the supply. If we switched a simple circuit on and off very fast, then the light would flash, but connecting a capacitor in this circuit prevents the flashing as the capacitor would now discharge and power the circuit. Inside a capacitor there are two conductive metal plates and these are separated by dielectric insulating materials. Dielectric means the materials will polarize when in contact with an electric field. Before applying voltage, the two plates of the capacitor are electrically neutral, that is, both have equal amounts of positive and negative charge. But once voltage is applied, the electrons will be pushed to the negative terminal of the capacitor and as electrons will build up on one plate of the capacitor, the other end will in turn release the electrons. These electrons can't pass through the capacitor because of the insulating materials and eventually the positive charges and negative charges will get collected on either end of the capacitor which will develop a potential difference between two plates. This building of charges across the two plates will continue till the point this developed potential difference equals the supply voltage. Now because of the potential difference, electric field gets developed between the two plates. In this way, capacitors store energy in the form of electric field. Even if we remove the voltage source, the charges developed across the two plates will remain intact. So conductive path is connected here across the terminals of this capacitor and a load in the form of LED is connected across this conductive path. Now whenever we switch on the device, the electrons will move towards the other plate and current will be generated across this conductive path and this process will continue till both the plates become electrically neutral. This phenomenon can be known as the discharging of the capacitor. Now the ability of the capacitor to store electric charge is known as capacitance which is charge developed across the capacitor by unit volume and generally it is denoted by the unit of farad. Now there are three factors affecting the capacitance of a capacitor. The area of the plates, the distance between the plates and the permittivity of dielectric material. So let us see how these factors affect the capacitance of the capacitor. As area of the plates increase, the amount of charge that can be stored across the plates also increases, which increases the capacitance of the capacitor. Secondly, if the distance between the plates reduces, the electric field developed between them increases which increases the charge that can be stored across them which in turn increases the capacitance of the capacitor. Third factor affecting capacitance is the permittivity of the dielectric material which is the product of absolute permittivity and relative permittivity which is also called the dielectric constant of the material. So because of this dielectric material capacitance will increase. So I hope that you now understand the concept of capacitor and how it works and also the concept of capacitance. If you have any further doubts and questions, please feel free to comment down below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Electric. I will post stuff like this to clear your concepts and make it as simple and short as possible. Until then, bye.